Welcome, everybody. This is Gunfire Reborn. We're going to be doing a uh, first look, first impression sort of review of this game. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it is a first person shooter slash roguelite RPG. Uh, let's see. So you can play with keyboard and mouse, or how I actually plan on playing with controller, because, well, it's just a bit more comfortable. I like games where I can kind of just sit back, pick up a controller, and play. Now, uh, when the game first loads up, this is where it drops you off at. No title screen, nothing really, uh, other than a quick uh, warning, I suppose, from the developers, just letting you know, hey, this game is in early access. Um, I hope the audio isn't too high. I, I, I dropped it down to 30%. For the master volume. I just want to make sure that I'm at least getting picked up just fine. But, uh, anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this game. I'll probably play it for about an hour or so, and then, uh, toward, once we get to a good point where I feel like I've got a decent enough uh, feel for the game, I think I'll give it some final thoughts and a brief review, just kind of on what I've seen. Uh, you can actually go ahead and pick up this game on Steam right now, Gunfire Reborn. It is currently on sale uh, from the Steam Autumn Sale. Uh, this recording is being done uh, the 30th of November 2020. So uh, still grab it while you can. I believe it's got one more day left. Uh, yeah, I believe it's about a day left on the sale. So hey, if you catch the stream, you take a look at it. I mean, go for it. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, just jump right on into it. So we get a jumping? Okay, we're doing that. Got some, uh, terracotta warrior looking guy with a crossbow. Okay. R2 with fire if you're using a keyboard. Dash, an effective way to avoid danger. Press B to dash towards any direction. I am using an Xbox, uh, 1X controller for this. Got more, more people now. Uh, primary skill, energy, or beauty skills that each hero has. Okay, so there's multiple heroes. That's good to see. Uh, press LB to use. Okay, so. Oh, okay, so that kind of just freezes them in place. Alright. Good stuff. Weapon on the ground, press X to pick it up. So we got, what is this? Cavalry. Burning deals continuous burn damage to the enemy. Okay, it's just normal ammo, so, so there's ammo types, okay, rounds, and three, three times two damage, okay, so less damage, it's got more rounds per, s okay, and a higher magazine, and 50% weapon damage against enemies with burning effect, okay, so go ahead, just pick that up, press start to open the backpack, okay, now note I am using, once again, Xbox controller, so, that's the control scheme it's giving me. If you prefer, you know, mouse and keyboard, the game will tell you, you know, mouse and keyboard controls when you play. Okay, so each weapon has its own attribute, and the inscription on the weapon also brings more diverse enhancement to improve, or enhancement to the weapon. Okay. Oh, okay. So I see this one's got a three-shot burst and the third shot auto crits on hit. Okay, your different ammo pools are there, so you got normal, large, and special ammo. Okay, and I guess the main weapon has infinite ammo to it. At least I'm hoping. All right, so what do we got? And I'm uh, apparently getting Chat spam by some sort of bot. That's that's interesting. Uh, give me one second. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just just ban. One second. 
There we go. Sorry, I have a, a zero tolerance for box and other such spam in my Twitch chats. So. Oh wow, that was way off. I, I think I need to adjust the sensitivity. Or, you know, uh, get good. Okay, so the portal, press X to leave. How close do I gotta be? Oh, okay. Back to the end. Ooh, we got some story. Crown Prince. What is the mission this time? Uncle Bao. It is said that demonic aura has appeared. Is spreading uncontrollably. But it's nothing. If that's all, I'll leave. Okay. So. Alright, so we've got sort of a, a level up at the top. Let's so click to switch archive. Is that, I assume that might be like save files, potentially. Uh, and we've got a new adventure made for us. Okay. Bow. Take this jade pendant, it should be useful. Okay. Why the start? Okay, apparently I'm headed somewhere with a, with a jade pendant. Sounds good. Alright. There's a... Uh, need to activate the... Arm support. So I guess that's some sort of deal that we'll be getting... We'll be getting later, but for now that's locked. That's uh well, let's take a look at this. So the boundary is your basic weapon. Unlimited ammo, okay, cool. Uh level is adjusted to lowest level of all equipped weapons. That's actually really nice. Okay, so the weapon levels up depending on what your lowest weapon is. So even if you run out of your worst weapon, so to speak, you should apparently have your basic weapon. We'll match around that. Uh, let's see, in Ascension, you got a bunch of different upgrades, so Elemental, Smoke, Orb, okay, and Occult Scroll. Okay, I don't know what this is gonna all be, but, uh, should be good. Oh, I can actually use my cursor there. Neat. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll see what Occult Scrolls are here soon. Alright, for now, let's go ahead and get in here. I will say, I'm really digging the art style of this game so far. And the gameplay, like, it feels good for now. I haven't noticed anything off, really. Nice. Okay, so that does not just done it also. I didn't see that before. I wonder if you get, do you get loot from, like, these, or is it purely decoration? Looks like it's purely decorational, but... Probably won't stop me from hitting it. Oh, this is the Argus plus one, so it takes large ammo. Left damage against enemies and decay effects. 25 chance to recover 50% ammo. In the magazine. In the magazine when you kill an enemy. That's not bad. A fourth of a chance to get half of your ammo back when you kill somebody. Okay, switch to default weapon by holding Y. And if, let me guess, if you press Y, you can cycle through. Okay, let's 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 check out the Argus. What's, what's going on? Oh, it's like a spread shot. Oh, and it did it just give me back ammo? Okay, it looks as if the uh, controller has a little bit of uh, auto target on it. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, grenades are full. I have grenades. Oh! Right bunk. Oh! Okay. Oh, that's kinda cool. I can dig that. And so, we got, we got markers. What's this? Is this like a boss door? Or... I'm sure I'll figure that out eventually. One second, I wanna see. What are, what are these little icons underneath the player portrait? Okay, you got your team information. And I guess... Okay, yeah, that's just items. 
such. Oh, okay, so you can have multiple weapons. X would be to swap between those. I'm assuming it's hold X, maybe? And then your initial weapon, you hold Y. But we'll see that when we get another weapon here. Alright, he did. He got soul lessons. I wonder what that is. Oh, more people just spawned. Probably above us. There seems to be a hole in the ceiling there. Interested to see what's going on there. Oh, got hit. Oh, is Soul Essence like a... Is that like our level thing? Like right there above the health? Or is it meant to be something else? Okay, portal has been opened. Right, let me go pick this up, because I don't know if it's got a timer on it. Interesting. Treasure chest. What is this? Golden goblet. A goblet overflowing with mysterious energy. Pick up to enhance power. I mean, I like new power. Ascension. Ascension is determined the direction of growth in this adventure. Level 3 ascensions have powerful additional facts, reasonably matching ascensions of cool weapons and scrolls. Get further. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's giving me an ascension to pick out of all the things. Interesting. Uh, after using smoke grenade, 30 max shield for 6 seconds. Energy orb has one more charge, 2 meters to explosion AoE for energy orb damage and control effects bypass barriers. I think one more charge might be nice, but get past like enemies barriers sounds like it would probably be more useful in the long run. I don't imagine why it wouldn't be. Now, what's this? What's up there? And is there a way for me to get up there? I don't... I don't think so. I would like it if I could, however. Is there a melee, maybe? No? I feel like this game would be nice if it had, like, a little melee button. Like some sort of knockback. Oh, just a two, level two right there. Okay. Okay, so that just poisoned it. Eat. What is this? Is this like a health pickup? Food? I like food. Okay, what's this? Is this a, is this a thing? It's empty. Okay, it's not a thing. Okay, so they have a little AoE to show where the grenades are for the grenadiers. Okay, back off, screen. Back off. I will say, even though this is using a different ammo type than your normal ammo, I'm getting ammo for it pretty often. I imagine that'll probably end up being less of a thing, like the later down the line I get. Or like maybe uh, when I have to get special ammo. Oh, okay, okay. So I can, I can check cover there. Oh, heavy crossbowman. Oh, okay. I was worried about the blinking there. Okay, so it blinks red when you're like in like an AOE and it's trying to warn you. Wild Hunt plus one. So this one has special ammo. Lucky shot, the chance to deal several times the amount of damage. Uh, pressing down and releasing the fire button will trigger individual shots. When reloading an empty magazine, get extra reload speed. Okay. Yeah, let's let's pick that up. So now Oh, so you can press Y and it'll swap. And you can hold Y to go to your original gun. Okay. What's your deal? Peddler. Okay, first of all, still really digging the art style. Okay. I want to say, yeah, just some sort of amphibious frog person. 
What you got? What, what's this? Okay, mysterious bun filled with unknown filling recovers 30% HP. Okay, so that was an HP pickup before. Okay. Ammo supply refills all ammo. Fills all grenades, and then you've got a couple of weapons here? I wonder. So, how do I check, like, what my ammo max is? Oh, okay, it's right there. So I've basically still got nearly full ammo, and I've got three grenades there. So I'm, I'm good. I'm... I'm cooking, I'm chilling. Alright. Aces. So we got another treasure chest. The last one was blue, wasn't it? Or was it was it purple like this one? So another golden goblet, so this is just gonna be another stat upgrade, right? Okay, yeah. Uh energy orb has the same element type as current weapon and its elemental effect chance is hundred percent. Okay. Uh, energy orb freezes enemy for two more seconds. Smoke grenade capacity plus four. Does that mean it's going to be like plus four in total, or is it four grenade? Like, am I gonna if I pick this up, am I gonna have seven grenades, or is it, or is it just the four that I pick up, or up to four now? Ah, uh, let's take a look at that. So now if I go if I go in and buy buy a full grenade thing from the peddler. I'm like, hey yeah, uh, gimme give gimme give grenades. Oh, it is straight up plus four additional grenades. Oh, that is nice. Okay. I like that. I was I was honestly gonna be real disappointed if it was a matter of like, oh yeah, no, now you just have four grenades total. No, that's straight up plus four grenades. Okay. Stage three. Those are some flaming barrels. I don't. Yep. Okay. Video game logic. It's on fire. Shoot it. Oh, who's that? Oh my god, what are those? Oh, piss off. Oh no. Okay. Um, thanks. Yeah, could you. Could you stop throwing things? I'd appreciate it if you stopped throwing things. I couldn't give you the chance to get near that. I guess I really didn't need to drop that. She'll do crossbowman. Headshot. Alright, let's go see who this person is. Hello there! Craftsman, who are you? Are you like a... You look like a armadillo type guy? That's, that's fucking cool. Okay, what do you do? As a highly skilled craftsman, they can enhance weapons or reforge weapons. Gemini inscriptions. Okay, so you, you give you give me the big damage. Um, I mean, I have 200. I actually haven't even tried the wild hunt yet, but I do I do like the Argus. So... Yeah, uh, let's just let's enhance both these weapons. Why not? Let's do it. They're both plus two weapons now. Let's actually, let's try our new our new one here. So it says, if I hold and release, it'll fire a shot individually. Okay, so it fires one when pressing it, and fires the other when not pressing it. Or, like, when releasing. So if I... So if I just... Oh, okay. So yeah, you can quickly double tap on this thing. I can hold this. It's got some fast reload too. Okay, cool. And apparently, if you reload while holding on to a bullet, you can uh, you can just stop, and it won't fire that second one. So, like, if I shoot one, and I hit reload, and I release, you don't you don't fire that that extra bullet. Okay, that's good. So there is a bit of a reload cancel there. Ooh, what's this? Wait, wait, what is it? Vault seems to be specific. It needs a specific. I mean, it's, it's purple, so. No? So I so throwing my purple at it didn't work. So you need a specific talent. So I'm assuming that shooting at it's not going to do anything, and I don't want to waste my hand. We'll 
I swap to... Yeah. No, that's not gonna... That's not gonna do anything for me. Okay. Well, I guess I can't, uh... Can't go in there. Right, I'm running low on special ammo, so let's, let's go back to... The Argus. The Ar Argus. Oh! Got a new weapon. Or a venom. Oh, is that it on the ground? Did I just unlock a thing and just gave it to me right away? That's fucking cool. Alright. And I killed them with the grenade. Eight, I think. Oh. Ugh. Piss off. Piss off. No way. So, there's another gun there. Ooh. 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 Can't hit me. Oh, we're gonna throw a grenade over there. And take some cover. Ooh. Okay. Up. Up. I wonder if like headshots really do make a difference. Like if I. Feels like it, because that felt like a more well-placed shot. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this. What's this? So this is the this is the new thing. We just got it, right? More of venom, large ammo, corrosion damage, decay. Oh wait, what's what's this on the ground? What the, what's this one? Star Devourer that takes normal ammo. Yeah, those auto reloaded from reserves when you stop firing, but it cannot be manually reloaded. Okay. Um. I like the Argus. I do. I do like the Argus. So, like. I think I'll get rid of this one. Oh, if you press Y, you can compare. Oh! Okay. So this one also has Lucky Shot Chant, and it's a better one. Rate of Fire is minus 25%, though. So, weapon. 50% weapon damage against enemies in- Oh, in Decay Effect? Wait, hold up. And this one gives Decay Effect, doesn't it? Oh! Okay, so we might have, like, a like a synergy going on here. As much as I don't want to get rid of the, the Argus... This sounds like it would be a decent pickup. Okay. Okay, so I, I guess the plan is to do some daka daka with this. Wait, L2. Oh! Oh, this one's got like. You got a single shot and a rapid shot. Wait. Do, do all the different weapons have, like... Oh, I guess it doesn't. Alright, so down at the bottom, there's that little left trigger bit. That's a new demarcation of a secondary firing mode? I wonder if this had one. No? Interesting. Okay. I still... I still can't get in there. That's unfortunate. Regardless, all right, we got a new uh, chest. Let's see what we've got in here. Golden goblet again. So I'm, I'm guessing there really isn't anything else other than golden goblet. Um. Bonus damage against people under an elemental effect. After casting an energy orb, shield recharge speed plus three percent for six seconds. Let's take the, the, the damage. I'm doing elemental damage with the uh, with this stuff, so Yeah. I did I do realize I got rid of a uh, plus three weapon for a plus two, but I wanna I wanna try all sorts of things. Cause this wouldn't be a proper review without uh, doing so. I also noticed something during that loading screen, it looks as though uh, you end up having uh, like your progress track at the bottom there, the little blue blips. Uh, I don't know if I want to go back and take a look at that. But, 
Oh yeah, no, there's obviously a little bit of auto tracking there. So if you get close, it's not that bad. So if I'm like, yeah, it's automatically wandering towards them. So if I place it like near, it'll kind of auto lock on. That's that's actually kind of nice. So if I do something like. Oh, this one's got the DACA. All right. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, and so I guess that green bit's the uh, actual. Okay, yeah, it does a lot more damage if you get into that decay effect. I think my, my grenades also give the decay effect, if I'm not mistaken. They also have that, so like, let me try... Yes, just unleash all the DACA. Horsehead. Okay. Okay, what's what's your deal, Horsehead? What's, what's going on with you? Do I have to hit you from the back? Okay, yep, I imagine that's what we're looking at. So if I, uh, get the poison on and then try to dock him, but I'm gonna get around all that quick. Okay. Oh, we got a wild hunt back. Ooh, so this one's got more lucky sh lucky, uh, chance. So this one's definitely different than the other one we had before. Um... I'm thinking, yeah, let's switch off of the, the, the Star Devourer. Go back to that. I don't feel like the, the Star Devourer, like, it's got a lot of DACA, but, like, it's a lot of small bullets, you know? A lot of big damage. I like the big damage. You know. Oh, big damage like this. I should really be dodging a lot more. Oh, I'm getting hit from above. Oh, I can't go back out. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, but you can do you can do a a revival for those soul jet. Oh, that's what the soul bit's for. Okay, so you're not necessarily out when you when you die. Like you still got a chance. Okay. Oh, those guys have like homing shots. Okay, and headshots absolutely deal with damage. Either that or I got a lucky crit there, but... Okay, I need to take out these guys up here. The long moment? Never mind. Wow. Okay, yeah. The game just kind of amped itself up on me. I suppose I could have done a whole lot better with my dodging, but... Man. Okay. So these are our statistics there, so damage, weapons, talent. Oh! What's up, Uncle Bao? Tell, tell me to wake up, okay. What happened? To the art of soul regenerate. And, uh, you, you just die. It's whatever. It's like, who, who doesn't die nowadays? Like, that's just... It's just how it is. Wait, he's so nonchalant about it. Remember that jade pendant I gave? Oh, okay. Connect your vitality, helping you refine your... and enhance your soul essence. Oh, okay. So this is this is where the, the roguelike uh, cross progression sort of happens in between your games. Like, obviously, you unlock certain weapons, and this is more like what they meant when they said RPG, so... You've 
got... Well, the RPG element, so I got things I can level up. Okay. Killing enemies absorb soul essence, which I spent to stay alive. I'm kind of regretting that now. And these are the talents you can choose. Okay. Just moving to the right panel. Soul essence cannot be brought back to the inn. Oh, okay, so it, it can't even be brought over anyways. So, so this here, this soul essence, you have to use it during and immediately after. Okay. Right trigger check level level rewards. Oh, so these are all things you get for leveling up. Those are some new new characters, I take it. Some new abilities. Okay, that's neat. So what's this? Ability to break the glowing crack which leads to the boat. Yes. Okay. Do you want to go? Yeah, I, I can't spend it anymore, so. Nice. Okay, and yep, and here's the Prosper Quest weapon. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot read that, but I assume it means it, you know, some sort of next confirmation. Uh, there are many powerful scrolls hidden behind the glowing wall, and now you have the ability to search for them. Neat. And this is where you can invite up to uh, a total of three more players to join you. Switch your hero. So, I don't believe we have any others yet. No, because we'll end up getting them later. There also seems to be an ascension here. So, I wonder if that's like special bonuses you get for like reaching max level or something along those lines. Let's go ahead and go through the, the potential characters that you can get then. So, you've got Albai, Master of Explosives and Firearms. Albai's expertise with firearms allows him to control two weapons at the same time. Also, due to his passion for explosions, he always has been able to make powerful explosives. So with him you get the, the dual wield ability, so uh, for 20 seconds you'll hold both of your guns and be able to just dock away everybody. We've got the explosive grenade, so uh, that's a change out uh, the toxic one I was using before. Okay. But you need a talent reaches level 30 and get him. Okay, cool. So yeah, then we've got the Crown Prince, uh, which, okay, so this is who we're already playing. Good, good to know. So yeah, you had the, the Poison Smoke Grenades and then you had the Okay. And this is King Yan. He's a skilled martial artist who moves like the wind and is as elusive as shadows. Unlike others, King Yan has a dislike of alchemy and shield, and chooses instead to indulge in martial arts and armor. With his martial arts prowess, King Yan likes to leap into the fray and leave enemies. That being said, he also likes the smoke and sound of shotguns. Okay, so... Shotgun martial arts? I can dig it, why not? It's got a, a leaping ability, leap forward with a hard kick, dealing time with damage while moving within 7 meters. Okay. Each hit can re 20, recover 20% armor per kick. Okay. So that's an armor regain ability. And then cleave. Cleave recklessly, dealing 500 damage to the enemies within a fade shape. Okay. So he's very much in your face. Drop damage. Okay. Okay, I can see that. Oh, uh, we'll shoot. Matching at least level 10 for matching again. I don't plan on matching with anybody. Uh, so there's only one difficulty, it looks like. Good to see. And let's... What's this? Join the squad. Enter squad ID. I think, I think I'm good. 
Calma. Okay. Ah, adventure squad ID. Okay, so you can make a squad and people invite people with that. Okay, that's cool. All right, well let's start. Let's start another one and uh, see how a, see how a second playthrough goes through. I, I want to see what's through those vaults and such. I still I still can't get that because the arm support. I bet that this is like a randomly given additional weapon. Like that's that's what I'm guessing. I don't know for sure, but that's definitely my guess for it. All right. Let's see what we got. So, stage one again. Back at it again. Just gotta throw that into the air, apparently. Note, you can hurt yourself with your explosions. Ooh, what's this? Piercing flame, special ammo. Is this a, is this a sniper? Is this a flaming sniper? Oh my god, it's secondary as a zoom in. This is a flaming sniper. Okay. Man, you thought I was missing all my shots before. Oh boy. I'm gonna definitely miss them all now. Ooh. Okay, yep. We love those peeking headshots. Triple comeback rare. Max HP, max shield, armor will be cut in half, but you gain two extra rebirths. I mean, I may as well. So I guess that's like the occult scroll. Is that what that is? Yep, that's exactly what that is. So I guess it gives you a bonus and then also like a defect to it. So in this case, my health and max shield slash armor are cut in half, but I have two extra rebirths. The occult scroll is destroyed after the effect ends. Okay. Ooh, and there's a there's a purple thing. Okay, cool. I'm almost out of special ammo, so we're just gonna, gonna just swap back to my base gun. I realize I could have used my orb there. And then there are people in that room there. But what's this? Wash. After breaking the crack. Okay, so now I can break it. Noise. Alright, this is the vault. Enemies. Good to know. Okay, so if I don't enter the room, I can... Piercing shot. Take people out. Okay. That's, uh... I mean, I'll take it. All right, what's in the treasure chest? Lucky shot chance for each 1% HP missing. Sure. Considering I have low health, a uh, percentage of my health will equal to more on lower amounts of damage taken. I do like this. Oh, I like it a lot, but... Okay, so you can outright just knock that off. For each second that the player doesn't deal any damage, you can weapon plus 10%. Okay, so that So... If I don't deal damage for a while, I deal more damage overall. I finally do deal damage. Well, seems legit to me. I have a habit of just... Oh, okay, yeah, nope. Screw that guy. Finally got our level up. Okay, so bonus lightning damage and energy orb has more. Yeah, let's just let's take the, the the extra orb. Maybe I'll remember to use it. Oh, 
Oh, is that at the bottom there? Uh, is that how many stacks that it has? Okay. Okay. I was looking at like the passive effects. They show up underneath your underneath your uh, health bar and such there at the bottom. That is in fact useful. I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. Screw you too, buddy. Wow, I am missing a ton of health. What's this? All picked up ammo will automatically convert to its currently equipped weapon type. Yes. Thank you. So what I'm hearing is infinite ammo for whatever weapon I plan on using. Check this out. Okay, another vault. Now, this one's as nice as any as the other one I did. Oh! Got exploding balls of death goo. Oh, I gotta. Okay. So it's not just killing things, you also got a platform back in time. Nope, not that go. Not that go. <laughs> okay, we're good. Oh, they s just spawn instantaneously. Okay. We're good. We're good. I gotta, gotta run through. I'm just gonna run right behind these. Dash through, and we're good. Alright! We got movement speed for three seconds after using the deck. There's no real negative for that one, that's just straight up, okay. Use dash, go fast. Oh, there was fire? Oh my. Okay, right, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get out. So now I got more move speed after I dash for three seconds. The marker's definitely useful. I like that. I have a feeling somebody's gonna drop down from over there. Who's the next one? Come on, that can't be all. Oh, I missed. Now, I noticed that there's a timer underneath the uh, map there, the mini-map. I wonder if, like, how long you take affects the difficulty of the game. That uh, wouldn't be uncommon. Uh, apologies if you can hear my dogs in the background right now. They're kind of just going off. Alright, so I've, I'm doing fire damage with this gun, so... Yeah, let's just take some bonus fire damage. Why not? Especially since every ammo I pick up is going to be ammo for this anyways. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it heavily. Yeah, that feels good. That feels real good. Maybe not for these guys, though. That's why we got a, a secondary weapon. Okay. Uh, 
have seven grenades again. Okay, um... No. Uh, let's get some more damage on this. Heck yeah. So it seems to go up by a hundred per thing. Uh, per increase on the damage. Okay, nope. Let's just do that. What's this? Start of hour two, this is an Argus one, right? At a rate, but I like the shotguns on the spread of it. Plus we might be getting whatever's on the ground right there. Good Angelic Aura. Normal ammo. Yeah, definitely not better than this, but what about... Yeah, why not? Let's, let's give this a gun and a quick try. Okay, so it's like a... Was that a five-round burst? Alright. Got some more monies. And the goblet, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take more fire damage. So far, my special ammo's just been staying full. Oh! We got a... Challenge event. Challenge event is... is the risk that may appear during the time of adventure. So unexpected goods. All enemies transform into horn beetle after being defeated. Let's go. Alright. Challenge really isn't all that difficult. Okay. Come here. I realize I didn't have to, uh, reload after every shot, but I just love that sound. It feels so smooth. Alright, what do we got for a uh, thing? Double acceleration. Secondary skill capacity gets double. So, my grenades? Is that... Do I have double the amount of grenades now? Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, wait. Wait, hold on. If you look at the, the, the gun itself, down there, if I press down on the D-pad, apparently... Oh! So you can switch the firing! Okay. So if I hold it with it on this... Alright, it, it stops at 8. Uses. Okay, if I go to the other one, it's constant bursts of five rounds. Interesting. So this is the auto, and then the semi-auto is eight. Okay, that's cool. 
I'm here for it. Still probably not gonna use that gun often though, to be honest. But hey, what do I know? Let's see, we're on stage four. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm so sorry, I need to... Oh, wait, does pausing this actually pause the game time? It does. Um, I actually need to step back for a second. Uh, I'm currently getting messaged by one of my friends about some, uh... Well, it's, it's, it's kind of personal news, but uh, I, I really do need to take care of this, so I'm so sorry. I'm gonna need to take a quick break. But I will be back in a moment, hopefully. Sorry about the delay. Let's get let's get back to the game. Let me just uh, make sure that I am streaming the proper tab here. I am, and apparently tab is the button to open and close this menu. Good to know. All right. Well. Let's go ahead and get back into it. Uh, yeah, sorry about sorry about the the quest there. Uh, had to go check on my friend. Uh, apparently, a one of her friends is not doing too well. Uh, and you know what? Actually, I want to go ahead and take inside right now. If you are out there and you're struggling with your mental health, please. Please see a professional. Get the help you need. Alright? You know, mental illness is it's, it's not a joke. Don't take your depression lightly. Uh, this coming from somebody who has dealt with depression and suicidal tendencies before. Seeing a professional, you know, therapist, uh, Seeing if you may need to get medicated. These are important avenues to check out. And know that you are never alone. There's always a community there. There's always somebody willing to talk to you. Um, confide in your friends. Tell them what's going on. Because, you know, there, there are people out there who love you and care about you and want nothing but your, uh, your health and safety. So, that's it. That's all That's all I have to say for my little side piece here. Um, back to shooting things. So I will say I have noticed that the game uh, has some good audio cues for when uh, enemies have finally taken notice to you. Ow. Whoa.
some cover. spend any of my resources to come back. out. Oh my God. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's talk to this peddler. I am out of grenades. Ooh, what's this? Elemental weave, elemental damage will always cause an elemental effect within 3 seconds of swapping weapons. Eh, I'm not really swapping weapons though. I don't think this one has. Yeah. I don't think this one has elemental damage to it. Let's just get going over here. Pick all this up. Alright. Energy orb has the same elemental type of current weapon, and its elemental effect chance is 100%. Neat. More damage. Since we're gonna need a shield. Let's get. Yeah, let's open up the energy bolt. Okay, and I was right about the secondary being your grenades. Alright. That's, that's stage four. We're on stage five, which I'm assuming is. Yep, the final stage. Oh, the boss is like right through there. Okay. Um, what do you have for. This untold effort. Using the secondary skill, there's a 50% chance to double the consumption and 50% chance to deal double damage. Don't know how I feel about that. I know I definitely want to enhance my weapon damage though. Enhancements too. Oh, can you only enhance twice? Her thing? Interesting. Okay, well, yeah, no, we're gonna keep the big damage on this. Uh, let's see what we can do here. This is the first boss. Oh, I was looking. Lu Wu. Alright. Ooh, okay, let's dodge that. Oh my god, okay, so that immediately killed me. Can I hit him from here? I can, uh, but he's getting back his shield anyways. Let's maybe kill. Okay, headshots absolutely do a thing. Ooh. Okay, there goes my shield. I was definitely not. Okay, I, I dodged out of that one. Oh, you can freeze him, however. And I died. Do I want to quit? Uh... You know, we're gonna go with yes, just because I want to see how much of my points I can spend. But that was a 
interesting to say the least. And judging by that screen right there, there is a. Uh, you're gonna end up going through like, two more bosses after him. But you know what? I'll take it. We got a little bit farther. Got a new, new ability expedition. Exploration. So now I can actually take a look at all these. So what's this? So that's hero specific energy orb cooldown. Okay. Carry more ammo. Okay. Increasing armor, shield. Okay, maximum shield armor. Some HP. Okay, and I can't do anything else until I get to level 10. Okay, well. Oh, so that's the that's the arm support. So yeah, get ability to open an initial treasure chest and walk to entrance. Oh, so you do get you do get a uh, thing for that. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to have like five of this. In that. So yeah, let's let's do that. So that costs twenty to get. Does it not matter? Let's start putting points with that, and then I guess so I've got 13 left. So let's spend 10 on uh, oh, that's 25, okay. I mean what's more important health or total health or the shield, cause Shield was definitely useful. I don't really care for skill damage so much. Just using it for the damage the utility. Let's go with the uh, the shield enhancements since the shield regens. Level five. Got the, got the, so we got the triple comeback. Uh, Ninja Invincibility, that game. Okay. Got the Bullet Bank. And the Angelic Aura weapon. Nice, and now we're level 5. Uh... Okay. Now... at this game for, for about an hour now. So, I'm going to go ahead and just talk about uh, about how I feel about this game. So, it's fun. Absolutely fun. Like, cannot deny that. I, I'm having a blast. I'm probably going to continue playing this game after the fact. But seeing as this is my uh, first impression, you know, uh, first tier, you know, first look sort of gameplay. Uh, let's see. I feel like the initial sensitivity for the controller might need to be just, just a little bit less, because I definitely was just barely touching my joystick and it just flew off to the side, but I suppose I can go into the options and adjust that. I don't imagine I would be able to. Um, let's see here. Oh, we got new things. Hold up. Armory? Oh, you can look at the different weapons. Big Hippo. Dragon Chaser. Hold up. Okay. Oh, and these all have unlock requirements. Oh. Okay. So currently there's 42 different weapons to unlock. Hey, I'm here for it. Why not? It's got your stats on there. Usage rate 46.72%. Yep. Hit rate 95%. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. 82 kills. Okay. That's cool. Uh, you got your talents. You can go in and look at what stats you have currently uh, allocated. Right. Player information. So this is just your personal information. 
Yeah, in total plays two, total gameplay, 39. First player this time, monsters killed. Bosses defeated zero. Highest damage dealt that 5,000 before. Okay. You got your solo stats and your team stats. Okay. So the, I like that those are separate. Okay. Logbook. Monster and cold school. Monster. Oh, okay. So you can look at all the different monsters in the game. I definitely have not seen most of these yet. Alright. I assume those are guys in the later areas. I don't want a squad. Boss. Okay, so there's four bosses total in the game, it looks like. So you got Lu Wu, an Ichthyosaurus offspring. Okay. And Yoru Hime Maru. I'm assuming some sort of Oni ghost ship. And Gollum. Man, if that's the same one from Lord of the Rings, he got small. Alright. Interesting. And the occult scrolls. Okay, so these are all the passive items. It looks like there's 123 passive items so far. And uh, they are still updating this game heavily because it is in early access. Oh, these are the cursed ones. Okay. So there are cursed ones in, it, in addition to all the other ones that have got different rarities. Yeah, okay, I, I can see that. Alright, I'm here for it. Well, well, let's see. Uh, there's the settings. So if I go... Mouse, keyboard, con controller. Okay, yeah, so the controller... Controller options, there's a various amount. Uh, audio, definitely a lot to mess around with. Video, very, very much there. Oh, good. God, did I seriously have that set to only 60? Ratio 16 by 9, yeah. Okay. I defaulted me on high, but I feel like I could probably play this game on very high without any issues. Uh, yep, so you've got rebindings for the mouse keyboard. No rebindings for the. Con oh, wait! Is there. You do have rebindings for the keyboard. Or for the controller, it looks like. Uh, there's definitely some translation that needs to be done for certain parts of the game. Like, uh, if you didn't know what up did by looking at your weapon, because it changes the fire mode of some weapons, you would have no idea what that says. Uh, unsafe changes, do you wish to save and apply? Sure, go ahead. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I think so. That. I don't want to mess with the sensitivity of it yet. Yeah, it's fine. 51%. Screw it. That's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. Um. Yeah, so it looks like there's a daily challenge thing. I don't know if I just get to reach level 35 to get that. Okay, I assume because you'll have all the characters unlocked. Alright, you can give the developers feedback, and then there's the exit. Alright. Full disclosure, full review here. Settings, good customizability. That's a big plus. We love that. We love to see it. Uh, the art style, it's very original, and I heavily enjoy it. The, the general theme of the game is well conveyed. Uh, the gameplay itself, very smooth, very fun. I will absolutely see myself coming back to this game. Uh, and granted, this is only still in early development. There's already a lot going for this game. I would absolutely recommend a pickup uh, if it intrigues you in the slightest. Uh, it's currently available on Steam right now in early access. Uh, in fact, it is, I believe I mentioned it before, it is on sale as well, as of the time of this recording, so you can pick it up for, I forgot, how much was it? I think this game itself cost me like, it was like nine bucks? Like, hardly anything. Barely a drop in the bucket. So, yeah, this was my 
live review for Gunfire Reborn. And, uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, at this point, I'll probably come back and play some more here later. But as far as this stream VOD, this quick little video, I think, I think I'm gonna cut it there. So, thank you all. Uh, my name's Rio from Devil's Paradox. You can check out this VOD on twitch.tv forward slash Devil's Paradox, or on my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com, uh, Devil's... Well, it was originally Devil's Gaming, uh, but we are going to go ahead and re change that out to uh, Devil's Paradox YT at YouTube. So, yeah. Thank you again. I hope you all have a wonderful day.